I like fast electric bikes, and so far we review Nairica Prime, 35 miles an hour top speed, beautiful carbon frame, Himiway Cobra Pro, 32 miles an hour, insane torque, and the best suspension we have tried so far. Greensley with exhilarating acceleration and scary torque, maximum speed, 35 miles an hour, and today we'll be testing another electric fat tire bike that I hope will be joining this fast, powerful electric bike group. This is the Ad Motor Wild 10 M5600 mid drive e bike. What is special about this model is the location of the mid drive motor. As you can see, this mid drive is quite different in shape and size and how it is integrated into this frame. But the most important is the V shaped frame support to the mid drive or location seamlessly welded right between the front and the rear diamond frame shape. This gives better balance and more efficient transfer of power. Also looks super cool. I like the design and the size of the sprocket and the mounting system to the drive. This should be easy to service and replace the sprocket, also play with different OD. Before we dive into the specs and details, let's do the top speed test first. Speed and acceleration. Wild 10 model comes with rated 1000 watts BBS HD Bafang motor, maximum output 1638 watts with 116 newton meter of torque. The cool part is that this motor can be run at 48 volt and the 52 volt system and that's just in case if you want to DIY and swap for a bigger battery or higher voltage and get to the motorcycle speeds and range. The battery is 48 volts with 17.5 amp capacity, containing lithium Panasonic 35GA cells rated to 800 cycles. The controller is a Bafang set to 30 amp discharge rate. The bike is really fast and powerful, but I need to go over the startup and power delivery and explain in detail. From the dead stop, either you pedal or use the throttle or both, despite having a powerful motor, we have on this model on a slow side but very smooth start. Once you get the bike rolling, it picks up speed really fast, gradual, and it's a controlled, intuitive ride. Very smooth from start to maximum speed level, very comfortable. The display is a LCD Smart 5-inch size with Bluetooth. We have 5 levels of assist on this model. The screen is very legible and easy to read while riding. The Ad Motor Wild 10 is not your regular electric bike. It's a massive 49.5 inches wheelbase and 78.5 inches total length. This fat tire e-bike is built tough and I want to show you the frame design, how thick and how reinforced this model is from handlebars all the way to the axle. This bike will pretty much handle any type of terrain without problems. The front air suspension fork has 120 mm of travel, super nice action fork that's perfect for this frame. The amount of power this bike delivers, accompanied by a huge fat 4.5 inch tires, wide strong frame and 840 watt hour battery, makes up for a fun fast ride and best suited for carrying equipment and heavy loads. With this big size tires you can jump back and forth between city streets and dirt roads and transition smoothly. Range, advertised on the AdMoto website over 60 miles. I managed to cover 21 miles in a fifth maximum level assist using the throttle occasionally and mostly medium pedal assist. I weigh 220 pounds and looking how massive and how heavy this bike is, I find the results more than satisfactory. In third level medium assist, you should get over 30 miles in range and advertised numbers can be reached in lowest level assist. 
I think this battery looks very compact compared to the bike size. And I would love to see an upgrade option for double capacity battery that can easily fit this frame or you can order two battery packs if you're looking for longer range rides and swap them. Compared to other e-bikes models, this is way above average capacity. The drivetrain is well balanced and beautifully integrated that comes with above average components. We have a Shimano 9-speed Alivio shifter, nice leather grips, wide handlebars and hydraulic brakes. That works perfectly. I like that they use higher quality air suspension and I love the upgraded axle that makes it so easy to remove the front tire, but I'm not sure why they cut corners on the rear end axle. On this model we have a powerful front light, very compact, but no rear brake lights. I think at this power level and top speed with this massive design and higher end components, I would have expected add motor to mount a rear brake light on this heavy duty rack. Maximum load capacity 350 pounds. Let's go over the pros and cons. I like the higher end components and the beautifully integrated compact mid-drive. The front fork for my weight performs exceptionally well. Plenty of travel to tackle the dirt roads and any regular streets. Great performance and unbelievable top speed. I can ride this bike in a city at 45 km an hour or 28 miles an hour without putting too much effort. Cons. I don't like the rear wheel axle triple nut business. Even though it works well, presentation wise, I expect more from Ad Motor at this price level and overall in such a cool, nice looking by design, why not machine a custom spacer or a custom wider lock nut? So guys, I just got my pants cut right here into the chain and there's no guard here. Other bikes like uh, Magic Cycle that we're running here has one sided guard. And the Himiway Cobra Pro also has one guard, one sided guard. Some bikes have double sided guard, which I think is cooler and better. Here, I think it would be nice to remove the screws, place uh, one of those plastic guards, and screw back in. I think that would be a good addition to protect you from getting your pants caught into the chain. In conclusion, the bike is great for long commutes and handling heavy loads. If you're getting inside or outside the building, it's too heavy and too long for that. If you have a warehouse or a big office, it'll do just fine. Due to its weight and size, the acceleration from dead stop is on the slow side and it's losing that nimble factor. But I'm not sure if you can change the settings and increase that. Like Nairica Prime and Himiway Pro, this is a good option for off-roading or going hunting, camping, I just feel like at this price level, Ad Motor should have designed this model with rear suspension to really make it perfect all around and 100% off-road proof. The way it sits, I really enjoy testing this bike. The power output and fast speed, it's a lot of fun. It really makes up for a great go anywhere, conquer any terrain e-bike. A good fast e-bike option to add to our collection of fast e-bikes. This was the review of the Ad Motor Wild Tan M5600 model. If you find this video helpful and informative, please hit that like button and share this video. It really helps get more detailed reviews for you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.